Okay, so the color I'm going to be using for this is the grimy black. Um, this particular set that I have here comes in, uh, I think, 12 different shades, I think. So, so for me, I use a very soft brush to do the weathering. And I just get a little bit on the tip of the brush. Again, I don't want to do really heavy weathering on this one. So I put it in the cover of the, the lid of the jar and I take most of it off and then it's just a matter of brushing it back. Uh, weathering on stuff I find with um, things like science fiction, you know, ships or planes or anything, it's it's best to go in the uh, with the direction of travel. And it's best as well to go really light at first. And then just build it up to however dark you'd like to make it. I think that's as much as I want to do for this panel. And then it's just a matter of pulling the tape off. And then there you go. Um, again, very, very subtle. It's showing up a lot darker in the camera than it actually is. Um, but uh, to the eye, it looks, again, exactly what I'm looking for. So essentially, that's all I'll do throughout the rest of this. I just mark off. I don't want to do it to every panel, uh, just because, again, um, this ship would have been very well maintained. So any of the really old grimy sort of thing would have been removed by now so so I'm just trying to keep it subtle and just very particular to areas that I want if this was a completely dirty ship you wouldn't even have to take the panel on off you would just do whatever you wanted to do there but so anyways that's about it of how I use these powders and you could see how quickly it built up there so I actually find these powders quite good I've only used them a couple of times so far, but but I do find them pretty pretty handy. Uh, so, anyways, guys, I hope uh, you found this useful, and Dan as well. I hope you found it useful as well. And uh, once I'm finished weathering this, I'll come back with uh, another shot. Okay, guys, so you can see. Um, I did just a little bit of weathering again. It's showing up on the camera much, much darker than it actually is. Um, of course, you know, it's a weathering is a completely personal thing. It's up to the person building the model and what kind of story it is that they're trying to tell, I guess. But um, this is about all the weathering I want to do on this. Um, the majority of the weathering uh, I did with the pre-shading, so the use of the powders here are very, very slight. Uh, but again, you know, I hope this hopefully helps somebody out, or if somebody was thinking about buying those powders or anything, because they're, they're actually quite cheap. I got them at the um, like Micromark. Um, so they're quite easy to use, just like using any powders, whether you make your own with acrylic chalks or buy a ready-made set. Um, the application is exactly the same, but uh, I find these powders stick pretty good. 
and uh, you can see just using that little bit of with the brush I mean they just didn't take very long to build up anything there so uh, anyways guys um, again hope this helps and um, as always thanks for watching and hope you stay tuned for the next video thanks